What's going on, Masonites? Welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles on the Conan Devolved server. All right, so we've done a quite a few things, I, I guess I should say, <laughs> since the last time we were on. We made an iron run, and I actually leveled up to... Oh gosh, what was it? Let's look. I leveled up to level 20. So I've learned a couple of things. I still have got some... Oh, wow. I didn't realize. I must have leveled up while I wasn't even on. <laughs> okay, so what do we need to go ahead and add in here? Strength is okay. Uh, vitality is five. That's okay. My grit, my stamina is pretty good for right now. My encumbrance is really good. But you know what? I'm going to go on an iron run. So I really need to pump that up. And let's go ahead and add agility. Since I'm already moving up into the higher level armor, I need to go ahead and, and increase my agility. Now, there's a couple of other things that I should probably end up getting. Uh, I've only got... Oh, I've got 16 points, so that's not too bad. I should probably unlock this for sure. Okay, and then... Oh, crap. No crap. <laughs> well, that's what I get. Oh, it's just these guys. Yeah, they're no big deal. Okay, but I also upgraded the base a little bit, too, from the last time I was on. I needed to add a couple of different buildings. Or I needed to add a different building so I could have some more storage for the tannery and things like that. Now, I haven't really added anything else in here, particularly because I wanted to go ahead and upgrade my armor before I make the big move. So I need to make an iron run, and it's pretty far away. I think the closest iron is around here. Yeah, it's right in here. So I need to go this way. I went this way last time, up the river. Bad idea. There's some real bad hombres over there. All right, so what we're going to be doing today is definitely going to do the iron run. We're hopefully going to end up leveling up to another, to a helmet. Now, do I have enough? Okay, I can make one of those. Can I make one of these yet? I need leather. Oh, I've got enough. Okay, sweet. That's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay. All right, now I just need seven leather. Now, I think I've got some extra leather already made up in the tannery. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, that's a good thing. That's real, real good. Now, I know all of my stuff is level one, and that's kind of a problem, especially since um, this is a PvP server. Now, I've noticed that there's not a ton of people on at all times, so that's... Um, that's going to be interesting to see. I think a lot of people are waiting, kind of like myself, waiting to see what, what's happening with uh, with the new update. Oh, sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and transfer this over here. We've got all the light gear in there as a spare. Let's go ahead and take some of this leather with us. But I need to get some iron swords and things like that. I feel like that's really important at this point. Um, how are we on our food before we go head out? Okay, let's go ahead and transfer this. My weight is at 41%. Um, you know what? Let's split this. And let's transfer this back over. That's fine. That is fine. Alright, let's go ahead and head this direction. There's not really that many people in this general direction, so we should be okay. Now, I was able to carry like 220. Oh man, I always get real, real laggy when I get over by the water. And I'm not really sure why. Okay, so I need to cross. And then I can go up. I'm going to cross and, and it's not going to be that big of a deal. I'm going to go ahead and head that direction and then I'll be right back. And we're back. Alright, so I made it over here in this general direction. And I can't honestly remember. You know what? No, I've never shown you guys this. Even on the other server. I always used to start over on the map, uh, right over here. This is, in single player, this is always where I would build, and I would have to make the trek over here, and I found that this is, like, the safest and easiest place to go get iron when you're first starting off. You really don't have to be that high of a level. You just have to avoid uh, a couple crocodiles along the way, and then just, just a few hyenas that spawn. So it's not really that big of a deal. Now, I really, really, really want to get some uh, iron picks and definitely an iron sword it'll just make everything a little bit easier and a little bit safer not to mention i can go and uh, defend myself a lot better than just having this wood stuff the other thing that's really cool about this area over here is that there's coal and i can use coal 
uh, for fuel my fires. I can use coal to make torches. I can use coal for a lot of different things. So that'll be good. The other reason I wanted to kind of make a trek out here was to check and see, kind of scope out the area and see where's a good place to build, to move our base to. Now, that's, uh, that's really kind of important right now. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Okay. Well, usually if I'm over here, these guys won't come get me. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> I don't need to be wasting a pick. Jeez, Dana. Dead gum. Yeah, I'm used to being on the other, the other server where I was leveled up, and I think it would be like one hit, maybe two, and I'd get rid of those guys. So that was, uh, that was definitely, definitely helpful on the other one. Okay, let's see. Man, ugh. I'm not used to only getting 12, 6 to 12 a, a hit. Yikes. Alright, let's go ahead and drop this. What's our weight at? Okay. Weight's not too bad. Um, we've got 132 of the iron. Let's keep going this way. There's always more. That guy shouldn't attack me. Shouldn't would be the key word. I think it's like four shots with the bow right now, with the uh, with the base bow, because I've increased my attack level. It's not too bad. Need to make sure and keep a little bit of stone so I can go ahead and repair this pick. But um, it's looking like I'm gonna be able to carry a lot more than 220 or 230, whatever it was the last time that I could carry, which is really really good for me. Alright, let's see. I think the coal is more over there where the Yog priest area is. And that's not actually where you learn the Yog religion, but it is, you get corruption from over there. And there's a big pit, and a lot of times you can get a level 3 Yog priest, which is something definitely to remember. I don't know if, I don't know if um, the gods are turned on in this or not. I guess I could check the uh, the server details and see, but I don't know. We'll see. It's not super important at the moment. I feel like there's going to be a lot more activity on the server when the new biome opens up. And that's another thing I'm really excited for, is the, uh, the mounts that are supposed to be coming out pretty soon. That'll be real, real helpful. Okay, let's go ahead and drop some of the stone, just so I can get some more of the... Uh, iron or get as much as possible okay 77% oh man I'm getting a lot more than I thought I was going to this is great I need a hundred iron in order to make the furnace no not the furnace but the uh, blacksmith table so this will definitely get me that along with uh, some of the iron tools since I already have the iron or the medium armor which is good okay I think that's all the iron in the area let's go ahead and kill this guy real fast stupid hyena all right let's take a little sip and drink then we can get some coal from over here which would be good yeah let's grab some coal real fast and then we'll head back towards the base. I haven't really seen any locations that would be that great to build for the moment. Oh, crap. Come on, dude. Get out of here with that. Okay. Let's go ahead and repair this. Let's repair the sword. We can drop the stone. And we can drop this. One, two, three, four, five, five hundred and forty. Grab just a little bit more coal. Okay. And probably getting real close to uh, full capacity. I mean, I know it is, but okay, I am over encumbered now. What else can I drop? I can drop this hide. Well, I can drop the wood too. I've got plenty of that back at the base. Okay, how many more hits can I do? Can I get an even 210? Okay. 
too much. We can drop this coral. It's tin coal. And there we go. Okay, cool. Now let's go ahead and head back to the base. But yeah, I don't really see an area that's going to be that that good for us at the moment. We're probably going to have to end up going all the way back where we were before. Oh, crap. That's one of the dangers of uh, running around and killing things when you're almost encumbered into picking up stuff. Now, the good thing is you can still move while encumbered now, whereas before you couldn't, which is definitely a blessing. And this has not respawned yet. I was curious to see how fast the respawn rates are. I feel like within probably two or th two to five more minutes, it would have already respawned. Which would have been good. But yeah, so I'm going to head back to the base, and I will see you guys there. Okay, so a little detour. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't notice this when I first got over here. But there is somebody's base right here, and they did a pretty good job. Now, when I was coming up here... I was thinking about this being a pretty good location. I have no idea whose it is, though. I'm gonna try and be... Oh, they have thralls already. Okay, which means that they are going to be able to attack me. Can I see? Oh, it's Shakira! What's up, Shay? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I had no idea she was over here. Okay, well, I don't want to get too close because her thralls will definitely kill me, and uh, yeah, I'm not on for that. Now, she's actually online right now, which is hilarious. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah. Now, we definitely need to move, but we don't need to move up here. Hmm. Let's see. That's, that's a pretty good base. I like that. I like that a lot. Looks like she's already got a yog pit, too, which is helpful. Anyways, guys, uh, I just thought you might be interested in seeing that just to see another... Oh, there she is. <laughs> okay, well, maybe hold on. I don't know. I'm going to try and sneak up on her. I think she can hear me. <laughs> Watch out, Shay. How's it going? Thanks. <laughs> Alright, so she wants me to follow her to her house, which she doesn't know that we actually went and checked out. It's super nice of her, though. If only I could see. Now, I'm feeling like I might get attacked by the thralls that are up here. But I'm not really too sure. Hmm. Okay, it's real, real dark, guys. Sorry about that. Once I get back up to her house, I will uh, be right back. Alright, cool. So, I'm hoping that I won't get attacked. Sweet. This place is really cool. Not yet, but I'm on an iron run. In order to make one. Holy crap, that scared me. <laughs> Oh, 
super cool. Okay, uh, I can drop that. I can take this. Boom. Fantastic. Okay, cool. Well, it looks like Shay's gonna come check out the base real fast. What's she doing? <laughs> Alright guys, well as soon as we get back to the base, I will be right back. <laughs> Bye Shay. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Okay, so anyways, uh, I found Val's base. He's, uh, he's actually really, really close to me. Now, he probably has seen the video. But, uh, yeah, anyways, he doesn't really have any walls or anything up, so that makes things interesting. <laughs> but Shay was nice enough to give us a, uh, a metal pick and a cutlass. Super cool of her. She also told me that she's not going to be raiding me over here. Now, I'm assuming that means she's just not going to be raiding me over here. Not that she's not going to raid me at all. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. I'm just really happy that I got uh, 540 iron. That's going to be... A lifesaver right there. That's a straight up game changer. But anyways, yeah, she's pretty close. The other people are close. Uh, she's going to be building uh, pretty much right above where she was. So that's not too bad. Now, on the map, in the past, Joss and Qual and I, we built, um, let's see, we were like right up in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were like right in here, which was a lot of fun really enjoyed this area and it, especially because it was so close to the opening of the other map so that's pretty good pretty good I'm, I'm thinking that area is gonna not be bad at all now we can always build up over here but I feel like this might be a little bit difficult to get over to the new side we might just end up trekking somewhere where we already were now the pirate ship is gonna be somewhere I believe it's in here now the maps changed a little bit so I'm just kind of going off of what I remember it being. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that meant that Val and Anastasia were over here. And uh, John was somewhere over in this area. <laughs> I'm not really sure <laughs> where he was. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and craft up a couple of these things real fast. Um, get this iron going. And then I'll be back so we can build the uh, blacksmith's bench. And maybe we might even go take a run over here to this little camp that's uh, real close to the base. Where? Wait, where was it? Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Right up here. We might check that out. It might be a really bad thing, but we're so close to the base, it's not that big of a deal. So anyways, guys, I will be right back. Alright, so what I was thinking about doing, um, I need to add a little bit more storage just because I'm not really sure how much longer we are going to be here, but at the same time, I feel like I need to beef up our defenses because everyone is not going to be as cordial <laughs> as Shay. Okay, let's see here. Wait, wait, what? Yep. yep, that's right. I tried to do this once before, and for some reason, that's not snapping there. Okay, that's super annoying. Um, let's go right there. And we'll snap here. Yeah, what about you right here? Wait, you still won't. Hmm. Okay, well. You could do it like that, and then maybe... Oh, gosh. I don't know what we're going to do here. This kind of ruins my plans a little bit. I, I mean, I guess it's not that bad to have all this stuff here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, well, what I was thinking about doing was having some defenses, so I feel like we should probably go ahead and make some of these. Now, I learned this because uh, I had plenty of Ingram points. I need to probably get some more wood. I've got actually plenty of it, but in order to make some of the large chest, which uh, you cannot break into unless you... I think you have to have steel. It's going to be 60 shaped wood, which is 600 wood, 
from the carpenter's bench and 20 iron reinforcements. Now, I think... Oh, man, I don't know. We have to do the forge in order to do that, which is 100 iron bars and 50 bricks. Now, I've been steady working on bricks from the very first day that I started playing on this server, just because I knew it was important. So I've got about 200, I believe, of the, of the bricks. I mean, I guess I can check that out real fast and see what I've got. Okay, yeah, 197 plus the 4, so 201. That's not a bad thing at all. I do need this in order, in order to do something like that. I need to go ahead and place some lights in here as well. Just because it is not very bright. Uh, uh, let's place one there. Okay, that's not bad. Place one partially up the stairs. Definitely need to have one in here somewhere. I don't really want to do it by the window. I guess we can just place it right there, since we're going to have a different crafting area. We'll put one in the back over here. And I definitely need to have something lit up in this building over here. Probably this walkway as well. So I'm thinking if I put one here, that'll be enough ambient light. Yeah. Okay. Let's put... Let's put one above this. And we probably need to have one more in this room. We'll just put it there. Okay, cool. So now we've got our lights. We've got our palisades. They should have been completed by now. Yes, they are. Throw these here. And then... I feel like I'm going to have to reconsider this. So... Yeah, I know. I wish I had the pickup mod, but I don't. Okay, so we'll dismantle this one as well. And probably this one. And we'll build some more and go this way if we can. Now, I'm not sure if we'll be able to. I don't think it'll be at the same height. Kind of sucks, but, you know, I guess it's not too bad. Now, in order to prevent people from climbing up and getting into the base, I'm thinking I need to place some palisades here. So, it's going to... Eh, I guess I could start them here. Possibly. I mean, they're not that expensive. 20 wood and something like that I mean, it's not really that big of a deal but I'm pretty sure you can't climb up these without getting damaged so if we can kind of funnel people this direction that's not gonna be that bad we don't necessarily have to build an entire gate now I doubt people are gonna be coming from there we could probably well I could wall this section off as well I kind of, I know I'm recording and people watch this, but I'm hoping that that's not the case. I mean, this is just a temporary setup for now. So, that being said, I was thinking about making some more storage space over in this direction. But I just don't know if that's going to actually work out. Hmm, okay. Well, let's see if we can go ahead and craft this blacksmith bench. So, I've got 100 iron bars over here. And I need 50 bricks. So let's grab the 50 bricks from over here. Let's do this. 50. Okay. Now, let's see if we can make this. Wait. Brick. I have 50 brick, right? Wait, I did that. Did it not? There. That's super weird. craft one of those and then what does it take it takes 400 wood 150 stone now I'm pretty sure that I've got that upstairs 150 stone and 400 wood now I'm thinking yes okay let's go ahead and craft that as well I don't have to oh gained a level heck yes carpenter's bench let's do that and then we'll be able to start making some of these now I'm going to have to check and see how many iron bars it takes to make one reinforcement. I feel like it might be a little bit. <laughs> By a little bit, I mean I think it's a lot of bit. Okay, let's go ahead and um, bump our grit up to be on par with our encumbrance. Let's go ahead and do our vitality. And then let's see what kind of recipes we've got. Okay, we've got the candle, we've got the shield. Um... Improved campfire. We've got the cauldron. I don't really think I'm going to need the cauldron for the time being. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that you only have to be a level 15 to make the uh, siege equipment. That is a good thing. 
Also, the elevators are level 19, so I'm already there for that. Now, we've got these spikes I could do. I really need to go into tier 2. Then I've got the wooden targe. Now, the wooden uh, targe is very helpful. How many does this cost? This costs 5. What is this? 2. Okay, well, I feel like this is going to be more important for the moment. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, where is the next bow? Level 30. Oh, I've got nine more levels before I can... Oh, ugh, ew. That's not fun. <laughs> That's not fun at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and place these guys. Let's uh, put this here. Let's go down to our craft. Our workshop, I should say. And let's place these guys. So, six. Can I put, place you, like, right here? Yes, I can. All right, now the blacksmith bench, I need to be able to rotate. And if I can put it, if I can put it like this, that would probably be the best thing. Okay, I don't want it sticking out of the wall. Um, okay. All right, that'll work. I think that will work. All right, let's go ahead and transfer these over here. Now, I'm going to need to keep a little bit of iron so I can repair my stuff. Oh, perfect. All right, how many iron reinforced? Okay, so it's two. It's a two-to-one ratio. So, got the broadsword and the Stygian Kopesh. Now, what is the difference? 188, 48, and 12. Now, can I tell what... No, I can't. Dang it. Crap, man. And I need 20 of these. Let's go ahead and make 20 of those so I can at least have one storage thing that people aren't going to be able to break into even if they get into the base. Alright, and then the next thing I'm going to need is branches. Transfer those and leather. Go ahead and transfer those. Let's make an iron hatchet. And I'm pretty sure since the cutlass that Shay gave us I cannot build yet. I'm imagining it's a higher level. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it is a 25. Okay, I'm not too far behind that, but it is definitely what well, should be better than the regular broadsword, which you can learn up here at level 10. Yeah. Okay, so as long as I hold on to that cutlass, we should be good. All right, we've got that going. We've already got the pick. We're going to need to keep some of this stuff so we can... Um, repair this. Now, I've got plenty of hide crafting up to make leather. I've got, what is that, a hundred and... It'll be... Yeah, 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 almost 120 of the leather, which is a good thing. Alright, so let me go ahead and gather up a couple more materials, and we'll see what we can do as far as expanding our building just a little bit. My idea is to kind of keep it covered about this big rock here. And there's our friends. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but those have been there since day one, and they will not go away for some strange reason. But anyways, we'll go ahead and kind of keep everything protected by this big rock. A super early on level person cannot climb all the way up to this. There's just, you can't. Um, especially like just starting off, because we're pretty close to the spawn points. I mean, I spawned over here. But yeah, we're pretty close, so that's not too bad. Now, I, I know that Val's over here, and I know that Shay's across the river towards where we get iron and the easiest spot for the iron, but a lot of people are leery of this base camp over here, so I don't really feel like that we're in too much danger in the very beginning. I say that. I'm not really sure. But uh, let me take a look and see if I can throw some walls up and, and make a little bit of a expansion to the base. All right, guys, so I've been pretty busy working on this bad boy right here. Let's do the final touches. We'll go ahead and craft up that uh, that chest, and then we're going to call this the end of the episode. So, what I've been working on is this right here. Now, I'm not really sure exactly how well this is going to work. Um, I should probably put another ceiling piece right here. I had a window right in this area, and I needed to take that out. Um, particularly because it just doesn't, it doesn't work with what I was going with. So, let's put the ceiling piece right here. Wait, go up one. Um, 
Okay, well, we'll just do it that way then. <laughs> okay, can I go ahead and put... I don't know if this is going to snap. Because we're at different levels. That's not what I want to do. Okay, it doesn't want to snap there, so we'll have to build another wall there. So let's go ahead and see if we can place... Like that. Yep. Okay, I need another one here. And I need another one here. Now, somebody cannot get through that. Even if they did, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we need a wall here. We need a wall here. And then we can go ahead and put... Put you here, and here, and four. Uh, can I get out? Yes, I can. Okay, whoa, that was weird. Better face there. Okay, now we've got a little bit of a roof here. Okay, hello. Alright, what we'll end up doing is we can just place another ceiling tile right there, I believe. And it should cap that off. Okay, and then, honestly, what we can do is get rid of that one, we'll place another ceiling, okay, and yeah, that's okay right there. Alright, so now we've got a little bit of an extra storage area, we can utilize it however we see fit. Got the palisades up, or at least a couple of them. Yeah, there's nothing really in here for the moment, but I just feel like it was a good idea to go ahead and allow us to expand if we need to. Maybe we could have put a couple more forges, things like that in here. I don't know how long term we're going to stay, but at least it's not in tier 2. Now, let's go ahead and see if I've crafted up, crafted up enough wood. Well, I've got, I need 15 more. So, I was actually wrong. It is 10 wood per one shaped wood. So I need 12 more, which means 120 more wood. Then I should be good to go. I think I've got some more up here. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get this in here and get it crafted up. do that and craft that up okay got all the materials that I need I've got the 20 iron reinforcements which took 40 iron ingots uh, iron bars sorry <laughs> the arc nice little arc reference right there <laughs> and then I have uh, 60 shaped wood so I should be able to craft up this guy right here oh that's real fast oh, that's amazing okay do this go ahead and uh, close this door we will close this. Okay, that works. And then, we'll go ahead and place this up here with our other stuff. Now, I'm really happy that we've got this now. We can place all of our super valuable items here and not really have to... Okay, what is... Oh, that's weird. Huh, it's like it was going through the... Wow, it's like it was going through the floor. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and drink, and I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe, and as always, I hope you have a good rest of your day. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.